Hello my dear friends, today we shall make a small summary of what about we were talking about the assumptions of consumers' behavior. The assumptions of the economic approach are based on neoclassical microeconomics of how market forces allocate resources most efficiently through the principle of the invisible hand and the classic marketing theory. The consumer is assumed to be able to make rationally based brand consumption choices and to be focused on utility maximization, which is why they will always choose whatever brand delivers the best utility value compared with the price. The theoretical apparatus is based on the basis ideas from transaction marketing where it is assumed that the exchange between brand and consumer consists of isolated transactions rather than an ongoing relationship. The primary goal of brand communication is hence to ensure that consumers are aware of the fine qualities of the brand and right time and place through linear communication from the brand to consumer. Theoretical building blocks of the economic approach. The economic approach builds on, theoretic, on traditional economic theory of exchange, where the principles of the invisible hand and the economic mind guide behavior and transaction cost theory. These videos will account for each of the theoretical building blocks supporting themes that make up the core theme, the economic brand. The supporting themes of the economic approach to brand management consist respectively of transaction cost theory describing the transaction-based perspective on exchange between brand and consumer and the concept of the marketing mix describing the marketing mix parameters that are key when building a brand strategy in the economic approach. Transaction and cost theory. The principle of the invisible hand and the perception of the consumers as an economic man imply that any consumption choice is the result of reasoning process where the involved partners will choose whatever will maximize their own profit or utility. However, in consumer behavior, there are some exceptions of this rule. Because consumer behavior does not always display a utility maximizing consumption choice behavior. Transaction cost theory takes these exceptions into consideration. Consumers, for example, do not have perfect information and accessibility to all choices available or consumers can have switching costs when shifting from one brand to another. According to the assumptions of the invisible hand, the economic man, these barriers to the perfect exchange are called transaction costs. Transaction costs are hence barrier to utility maximization. The goal for brand management in the economic approach is to eliminate these transaction costs and facilitate transactions. The next transaction enhances the ultimate goal in the economic approach. A good measurement of what, whether or not a brand strategy is efficient is hence measuring the number of transactions or express differently sales figures. Focusing excessively on sales figures alone implies a rather short-term focus as opposed to the focus of the remaining brand approaches in our video series and have a more rational perspective on brand building activities. My dear friends, thank you for listening. If, if you find this content useful for you, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and have a very nice day.